G'day guys, Sam here. Um, I've got a bit of a convoy of vehicles behind me. I am doing probably what for me is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity going for a 10 day hunt in the middle of bloody nowhere. <laughs> um, this is going to be absolutely wicked. So I'm with three other guys. Um, <laughs> I'm the youngest by a good few years, um, but that's all right. Um, just some family, a family friend and a couple of his mates, or his, his dad and his mate, and um, yeah, we're, we're loaded up, we've got four quads, a whole massive RV, like filled with stuff, um, it's going to be, it's not exactly going to be uh, backcountry uh, hunting that I'm used to in New Zealand, it's going to be a little bit of what my mate Lyle would call glunting, uh, glamour hunting. Because we're sleeping, we're not sleeping in tents and whatnot, we're sleeping in an RV that has like a heater and stuff. And yeah, between us, we've got um, tags for moose, white tail, black bear, elk, and mule deer. I think that's it. Maybe some small game bird licenses as well to shoot like grouse and stuff for, for dinner. Um, but yeah, you yeah, know, I am bloody bloody excited this is going to be absolutely wicked i don't know how many videos this is going to be um but uh yeah 10 days hunting freaking north american animals but yeah i'm bloody excited i don't know what else to say let's uh let's get to it the old road in is starting to get a little bit muddy Well, we, uh, we made it. Bloody hell, the last bit of the drive in here was pretty crazy. There's like 20 centimetres of just mud on the road going up this hill. And obviously Landon is towing this massive, God knows how heavy RV thing. Like, it's got like 400 litres of water in there. It's got all our stuff. It's got a lot of, lot of shit. And it's just like fully just going shh. Like, like at certain points trying to keep the RV straight because there's like a ditch on the side Landon's got like his ute like fully turned he ends up like pretty almost a 90 degree turn not, not, not a 90 degree turn but like a 45 maybe 50 degree angle like towards there and we're like moving straight and it's like trying to rear and holy moly it's pretty sketchy stuff and you wouldn't want this thing tipping and going over the uh, edge of a ditch and pulling us along with it but we got her in the end, so uh, no dramas, <laughs> no no major dramas. So, right, well, camp is set up, and I was I was um, told I was in charge of firewood and stuff, lighting the fire. So, I was doing a bunch of getting a bunch of little bits of kindling and stuff, thinking we're going to use a match. But uh, Dwayne here had other ideas <laughs> <laughs> involving uh, petrol and a flamethrower <laughs> and gasoline. Oh, gasoline, yeah, yeah, gasoline <laughs> and a flamethrower. And then, uh, boom, just like that, we've got a fire. We've certainly got a pretty mean setup here. We've lit it up like the daytime. We've got these, like, construction lights and romantic-looking fairy light things over there. Um, all these lights coming off the trail. <laughs> We're lighting this up, which is fair enough, actually, when uh, you've got bears and stuff around here. So, so Landon here has got a five-year-old son, and he just wanted to really make sure that Landon was stocked up on ammunition. So, what's he put in there? Oh, look at that. Some ammunition. So that's for the, that's for the... <laughs> so he's got two types of ammunition here. We'll have to see which one we use. That one's for the bears, I think. Might leave a dent. <laughs> Might leave a dent. <laughs> Alrighty, it's the morning of uh, day one. Bloody good, I'm all camoed up and all this North American sort of camo that, I've, that I bought while I'm over here. It's not super cold, it's not going to snow or anything I don't think. Maybe, maybe kind of cool, but um, anyway.
Alrighty, well we've um, we've just met up with Sean. We heard a couple gunshots this morning, and uh, apparently uh, there's a big muley, big mule deer buck that he's just knocked over. Let's go have a look at it. Oh yeah, look at this! Holy moly, they're huge! Bloody hell, look at that! That is a beautiful mule deer buck. Double drop time. Yeah. Two acorns on it. That's so <laughs> the cool. The same on both sides. That's epic. That's pretty rare, actually. He's old as two, eh? Like real low pedicles. Yeah. Beautiful. They smell, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's a pile of shit right there. Big ass pile. That's elk shit. Oh, yeah. Nice. Sure, that's grizzly bear shit. I'm no moose expert, but if I were a moose, oh my god, bloody hell, I just saw. I was about to say, if I was a moose, I'd live here, and then saw a big clump of ducks come out from around the corner, and it looked like for a second something swimming. <laughs> Well, we've just um, we've been biking for a while, and we've just reached a place called the Pipeline, and basically what it is is just a massive clearing that goes for miles and miles in that direction, and miles and miles in that direction, and um, yeah, there's there's just heaps of animals that come out on it all the time, which is fair enough. I'm not surprised. Couldn't turn my radio all off. Those? Yeah, that all does. Two does and a yearling. We've got what looks like a pretty decent sized bear over here. I reckon we might be able to stalk in the shooting range. Where is he? Over there. Can you see? I'm sure you can see him with the naked eye. I think he looks big. He's out in the open anyway. Yeah. That's a bugger. We just saw it had a cub. Yeah, it's, it's mum with a cub. Oh, off the cards then. But uh, that's alright. There's a wolf freaking howling. Not too far away, which is pretty, pretty cool to hear. So, yeah. Anyway. Alrighty. Well, I've relocated, and um, I'm on top of 
this uh, big cut out here um, and I've got quite a good view pretty much 180 degrees seeing into a lot of open stuff so I've got an hour until the sun goes down so what I think I'm gonna do is just uh, yeah sit here and uh, see if I hear or see anything Alrighty guys, back at the um, caravan RV thing. Um, yeah, no animals are uh, sighted. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. I saw a baby moose. Um, just a little one. Um, I wasn't going to shoot it, um, but it was cool seeing. I thought it was a deer at first. That's how, um, basically, it was a calf moose, and it was the size of, like, a decent deer. Like, I saw its ass first, and I was like, oh, that looks like a big buck or something like that. But, no, nope, it was just a, a, a little moose, and... Um, it didn't really know I was there and it ran off probably to go find mum, so um, hopefully we bump into mum at some point in the future. But uh, anyway, back at the, um, yeah, back at the RV, so that's going to wrap it up for today and that's going to wrap up this video. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, um, hope you enjoyed, uh, stick around because obviously I've still got like a whole week here, so there's going to be a lot more action hopefully. Um, yeah, in, in, in the near future, fingers bloody crossed. Um, so stick around for that. Um, don't forget to follow Insta Chronicles on Instagram if you want to. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.